Hello and welcome to the Cryptonomatron. Today is the 7th of December 2017. Let's take a quick look at the news stories from today. Um, NiceHash uh, has been hacked. Um, the miners were not working for about 48 hours and the site was down. It looked like they'd been doing maintenance, but indeed news has come out. They have announced that they were actually hacked and um, it has resulted in a loss of a lot of funds, a lot of Bitcoin, as many as 4,736.42 Bitcoin has been stolen, allegedly, an amount worth more than $62 million at current prices. That is incredible, guys. Um, and they've encouraged everybody to change their non-NiceHash passwords because they don't know the extent of the damage. And uh, some people already saying they've planned this. Bitcoin is at an uh, all-time high and they plan to, to do this. Not sure if that's the case. Let's wait for more, more news. But um, as for the time being, I don't recommend anybody to use NiceHash. And their website is unavailable. And this is their official press release. It says, unfortunately, there has been a security breach involving NiceHash website. We are currently investigating the nature of the incident and as a result, we are stopping all operations for the next 24 hours. The payment system has been compromised. The contents of the NiceHash Bitcoin wallet have been stolen and they are working to verify the precise number of Bitcoins taken. This is a matter of deep concern and they are working hard to rectify the matter in the coming days. So they don't know exactly what's happening. They have um, announced that they've been hacked and we wait for further information, which I will bring to you in due course. In other news, Bitcoin just went parabolic. It blew past $14,000. And I said this yesterday in my news article that I will be announcing all time highs on a, a daily, weekly basis because that's the uh, direction we're going in. Um, we are going to see $100,000 Bitcoin, I think, uh, possibly next year. It wouldn't surprise me. And John McAfee, uh, he said it was going to be a million dollars. Other analysts have agreed with him. It's not looking like slowing down at all. So we'll see how the introduction of the Bitcoin futures affects the price. But as the markets stand, and we'll have a quick, quick look at them in a bit, um, Bitcoin is just under $15,000 at the moment. So that's hot on the heels of the news that uh, Bitcoin Lightning Network has been released. It has not yet been implemented. There is a difference, but it has been released. The Lightning Network protocol has been released and it is a caching layer for Bitcoin where simple pay payment channels could support off-chain transactions, which will decrease fees, increase speed, improve the scalability issues and further decentralize the Bitcoin transactions. It's just what Bitcoin needs. And if it does implement it, then um, again, we will see further increases in prices. The usability um, improves and it's not just becoming a store of value. Steam is no longer accepting Bitcoin, though they have announced that uh, due to the volatility and the high fees, they're, uh, they're not going to continue to accept it. Um, a lot of companies will be doing the same. The issue mainly is the high fees and the fact that um, because it increases at such an exponential rate, they can't cover their ass with the transactions. If they charge you some money, it takes so long to go through the network, the transaction. By the time they receive the fees, they've actually got less than it's worth. So. Um, and that's, uh, that's their decision there. Um, blockchain scores a major win as Aussie Exchange plans a shift. Uh, this is the news that ASX, which are uh, um, the biggest stock exchange or the main stock exchange in Australia, will use a blockchain to track all their trades. And the company Digital Asset Holdings um, has this technology and they're going to implement it. So that's interesting more mainstream acceptance. Um, a new story from a couple of days ago that I thought would bring to your attention. This is um, about the deadly fake goods epidemic in China. And of course, that relates to the Wabi ICO. I did a review on it a few days ago. Um, it sold out essentially within a day. And uh, 
it was a very fairly distributed ICO, I think, in my opinion. It was very well conducted. The tokens have still not been released, but they should be going to uh, uh, buyers in the, uh, very, very shortly. So you should get them in your Ethereum wallets. Um, but this news article basically goes on about these solutions and Wabi is mentioned here. Again, I'll link all these articles below. So if you want to read them for yourself, you can do. Um, I just thought this was important because um, Wabi intends to solve a very, very real world problem. And um, the one that's resulted in dozens, if not hundreds of um, deaths of babies and infants in China and elsewhere in Asia. So very important, this technology, not only to control counterfeiting, but also to save lives. So it's um, mainstream news in the media. So congratulations to Walimai and Wabi. And um, the other news today is Dash aims for mass adoption. They've announced new integration and they've activated the two megabit block size, which um, improves the scalability. And of course, they are going to implement eventually five megabyte block sizes. And with a... Uh, uh, intention of, of imp implementing 45 megabit block sizes. So uh, that will enable some 50 million or so users to, to uh, use the Dash network, which is very, very impressive. If you've been following Dash, it's had a big price surge recently and it's starting to fulfill a lot of its early promise. Now, the integration refers to a, um, a integration with Uphold's platform, which allows users to buy, sell, and send digital currencies using a web or a mobile phone. And according to Dash and this uh, statement with uh, Uphold, this will allow 94% of the world's population to use the currency. So that's a fantastic uh, um, achievement. And another step forward, for mass adoption. Um, Dash has already been uh, integrated with Alt36, uh, loads of exchanges as we know, Block Cipher, ASU, and some debit cards as well, except Dash. So uh, the plan's very much moving forward for Dash. Now let's take a quick look at the markets today. I don't think there'll be any surprises. Indeed, Bitcoin just um, moving closer towards $15,000. And I think we will see $15,000 by the end of the year. I don't see that being a problem. I can't see it, there being a major drawback on uh, the Bitcoin price, but you never know. Such is the volatility here. Uh, we, we really don't know. There's a lot, of, a lot of new money coming in that might be forced to panic and, uh, and um, show their weak hand. Uh, we, we wait and see. Um, scrolling down, we can see Dash at just under $700. And nearly everything is in the red, with the exception of uh, a few gainers. Mona Coin again gaining. Um, and Einsteinium again up again. It's just unbelievable. And uh, one that I wanted to point out is Salt. Now, uh, Salt is reacting to the rumors that they are going to launch their lending platform this month. So it's seen an exponential price increase. And if we take a look at their website, Salt is a blockchain that's um, uh, backed by loans. So basically you can um, trade your assets or hold your assets and, and get cash. So you can essentially keep your Bitcoin if you like, or keep your uh, Litecoin or Ethereum or whatever it is you're, uh, you're holding, and you can get cash in exchange for the, um, the the crypto. And if you pay the cash back, then there's no issues. You get your uh, crypto back. And if you don't, they keep the crypto. So very simple system. It's all blockchain back. And uh, as it says there, Salt will let you leverage your blockchain assets to secure cash loans. So they are going to um, announce the lending platform this month, I believe. So good time to hold on to your, um, your Salt um, as it's reacting, obviously, to the... Uh, potential news. So if I can just find the roadmap. Uh, come on, come on, come on. There we are. There's the roadmap there. As you can see, quarter four, 2017, launched blockchain back, black, back lending platform, um, Bitcoin collateralized loans, and launched the loan fund. So it will all be coming um, at the end of this year. So it must be imminent. Uh, Salt is getting a little bit of a pump at the moment. So we'll just go back to the previous page and have a look at what is trending. Decentraland, um, they are a virtual reality currency, um, had an ICO not so long ago. Tron doing exceptionally well, almost doubling in price and in fact has over, over doubled in price in the last uh, 24 hours. Ambrosus doing fairly well. 
and Ether Party now starting to come back from uh, very, very uh, all-time lows. It really hasn't fulfilled any promise since it went on ICO. Now, we can see the biggest losers. Cyber Miles, uh, ICO not doing particularly well. Petrodollar, again, in the biggest loser list. It went up exponentially. People mistaking it for the uh, Venezuelan Petro. I mentioned that yesterday. And with most of the altcoins, what goes up must come down. And IOTA is coming down and has been for the last sort of 24, uh, 36 hours um, from all-time highs of well over $5. So let's have a quick look at what has recently been added. Let's see if there's anything of interest. Um, not really. Um, I haven't been involved with any of these coins, so I don't really have much knowledge on them at all. So um, no movement as yet. Any of the recent ICOs doing well. Most of them looking like they're in red. Flixo starting to come back again. And of course, Plexcoin completely destroyed. No trading volume whatsoever after the arrest um, of the owners and the seizure of the assets by the Stock Exchange Commission. So that's about it for today. Quick look at the markets. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with another ICO review. Um, I've got something interesting to uh, show you guys, something I might be getting involved with. And uh, if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. Uh, we're over a thousand, uh, a thousand uh, subscribers now. So uh, thank you all for tuning in every day. I do appreciate you uh, taking part in the channel. Please leave a comment. I'll always try to respond at halftime. So um, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.